So, with big AI features coming to iOS 18, iPadOS 18, and the likes of macOS 2, a lot of you are wondering, what are AI features, and how will Apple make these going forwards, and how will they work with the newer engines inside of their devices? The other question is, is how does the actual newer engine work too? So today, we're going to investigate both of these in brief. And what I'm not going to do, I'm not going to do a tech overload on this. I'm not going to dig super deep into how all of AI works and also not crunch down into, you know, the full numbers of the neural engine and how, you know, how powerful it is and how it works compared to, say, Snapdragon and things like this. That is not what I'm going to do. We're just going to talk about AI and the neural engine and how it will work for Apple. And we're going to do this just in case somebody else decides to copy this video idea out there. Now, as you can see right here, we have a list of AI features. And I'm not going to go into full details about them. And in fact, I actually have made a video about all the AI features. And if you want to know them more in depth, do check out the video what is right above me. But let's just have a look through the list anyway. So, we could be seeing photo retouching, such as removal of unwanted subjects and maybe even moving people around in a photo or picture, video memo transcription, so this is translating your voice into text, suggested replies to emails and messages, so that speaks for itself, AI actually replying to your messages, suggesting what's put in there, also generated custom emojis based on current content of a user's message, so what this means is that maybe an emoji can be worked out based on what you're actually saying in your conversation it can actually custom make an emoji what's cool smart recap of missed notification and messages so or if you've been at work all day and you want to have a recap of all those messages it will speak it out loud improve safari search and faster searches and spotlight using ai abilities auto generated apple music playlists based on the user's input such as the mood so based on the music that you love to listen to the apple music playlist they'll be able to auto generate a sort of playlist for you then we're going to also see ai assisted writing in pages so this is basically allowing say for you to actually have an essay being written for you with just some keywords and again the same with a slide creation in keynote very similar to what like the pages one is and then ai code writing and xcode for developers too and then also improvements for siri that integrate with large language models such as natural conversation capabilities and improved user personalizations very similar to what a lot of open ai sort of bits and pieces work right now when you have a conversation with it but siri will be able to do that so i think you get the idea here what ai features do is they give you small enhancements to help you with your day-to-day -day life they help you out with little bits and pieces what we will talk about a little bit further on and how the apple does this they use their neural engine inside their chipsets to make this work why the neural engine is so important is that these tasks that we just spoke about don't use the main processor cores known as the CPU or any of the graphics cores either. What actually happens with machine learning and AI abilities, they actually use these cores inside of the actual A chips and the M chips that Apple give us in that neural engine. And as we will talk about a bit later on, we'll talk about how many cores there are in quite a lot of the other sort of chipsets out there. But the main thing is they do these tasks at really really quick speeds and also use very very little wattage to complete them and like i said don't have to utilize the actual cpu or say the graphics cores an example right now where apple used the neural engine is inside say the facetime camera when you use this camera ai is working out how to identify your face and then say brighten it up if need be or say your background is super bright then it will lower the light on your background and keep your face lit up the neural engine can also deliver ai tasks go say inside pro apps so for color correction for example removing background noise inside your recordings whether this is video or doing music this can all be worked out without using the main cpu or gpu or even the video encoders and decoders what we'll talk about another day the main thing is it's using the neural engine cores to do all of these tasks and in fact we've actually had the neural engine out for quite a while we actually got it back in 2017 with the a11 bionic 
Back then we only had a 6 core newer engine, its main benefit was to quickly resolve quality of photos and videos on the iPhone X or iPhone X and also the iPhone 8 models. But the following year we had saved the kind of gold standard of how chipsets are even made today from Apple and this was the A12. And this one actually had an 8 core newer engine and the A series like the iPads and the iPhones going forwards have always had an 8 core newer engine inside of them. Even the current iPhone 15 Pros, for example, like this one right here, the iPhone 15 Pro Max, that actually has an 8-core neural engine inside of it, but of course it is far faster than it was, say, back with the A11. The original A11 neural engine could do 6 billion operations per second, or bops, and the current A17 Pro can do 35 billion operations per second, or tops, and this is near 60 times faster than the A11 in just 7 years. But then when we got the M series in the likes of the MacBook Pros, this changed everything. And talk about the MacBook Pros, I'm actually giving away a MacBook Pro on this channel, and it's for this one we have right here. This here is the M3 MacBook Pro and I'm going to be giving it away to one lucky subscriber on this channel and what it's got inside of it, it's specs, it's actually got 16 gigabytes of RAM and it's also got inside of it 512 gigabytes of storage too and like I said it's the normal M3 inside of it and all you have to do to enter into this international giveaway is just be a subscriber on this channel so if you haven't done so already make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell and also put down in the comments below of what Apple gear or technology gear you're plan to get in 2024 put it down in the comments below right now and also guys I just want to quickly say sadly there are still lots of scammers and spammers on this channel people still impersonating me too so please do ignore them or better as you can see here please do report them and last of all guys this actual giveaway is happening at the end of June time so if you want to get involved like I said make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell and I'll be announcing who the winner is at the end of June time for this MacBook Pro. So with the introduction of the M1 series we were given a 16 core newer engine and every version of the M1 to the M4 and also including the Pro and Max models so for example the M2 Max or say the M1 Pro they also have a 16 core newer engine inside of them. The M1 Ultra and the M2 Ultra is the only exception because essentially it's two Max chips stitched together so this doubles up to give us a 32 core newer engine inside of it. And just to tell you the difference between an M1 and an M4 in neural engine capabilities. The M1 could do 11 trillion operations per second or tops, whereas the M4 right now could do 38 trillion operations per second or tops, what is about 3.5 times more than we had back then in 2020 with the M1, so that's four years ago. And the great news is, with like I said, iOS 18, iPad OS 18, the new Mac OS coming out, they are gonna fully utilize all of these cores in all of your devices will actually have a neural engine inside of them too. So this is gonna be fantastic what we're gonna see within the next week or so. And with that, I hope this brief guide has helped you guys out. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Are you excited for AI abilities now? Fully gonna be utilizing that neural engine on your Apple devices? let me know and with that as well guys it's time to wrap up this video so if you have enjoyed watching it please do press the like button also if you want to hear the latest apple news reviews or comparisons please also make sure you subscribe to this channel and also hit that notification bell too until next time guys i'll see you really soon take care bye bye